Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and today I'm coming to you with a puzzle called Yorktown. Um, I just recently saw Hamilton for the 45th time. That's live, not just on Disney+. Plus. On Disney+, Plus, it would be way more than that. Um, and I kind of wanted to commemorate seeing it for 45 being a special Sudoku number. And uh, I remembered the performance of Yorktown from the show, and it was just over the top, and I loved it. So I wanted to make a puzzle themed on Yorktown. Um, and this is that, um, all of the spinning and everything that goes on in that number. Um, I wanted to make a, uh, a, a thermo puzzle um, with all of the spinning and everything. So that's what I've done. Um, I set this about a week ago and um, I wanted to leave it a week before I recorded the video and I wanted to release the puzzle with the video. So that's what I'm doing. Um, yeah, uh, I've no, this is going to go into my Bremster unpublished puzzle video playlist. So it'll probably not get seen by that many people, um, but I may at some point release this to the main channel. Who knows? So how does this puzzle work? Um, in normal Sudoku rules, so in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits 1 to 9 must be placed without repetition. We have killer cages. So in the cages, the digits must sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage. Um, and digits cannot repeat within cages. So for example, these two could not be the same digit, even though they could be by normal um, Sudoku rules. And we've got thermo shapes, uh, in this case blue for the blue coats. Um, I, um, um, and along thermos, digits must strictly increase from the bulb to the tip. So this digit will be higher than this, this digit will be higher than this, this digit will be higher than this. Um, I'm going to restart my uh, the, uh, the, the puzzle to restart the timer. And let's give this a shot. Now, there's probably multiple ways through this, but I'm going to do it the way that I was thinking when I set it. As far as I remember, I'm probably going to get a little bit lost. And the way I wanted people to start was with this six cage. So a six cage in three cells can only be the minimums, one, two, and three, but you can never put one partway along a thermo. So this becomes a two, three, and this becomes the one. Now this 11 cage becomes quite restricted because um, if you think about these cells, well, they're partway along a thermo, so they can never be a one and two, three is knocked out. So if we put the minimum into here, which would be four and five, then we've already hit nine. So we've only got two to get there and the minimum I could put in here is two. So this has to be two, four, five. If I increase this to even four, six, this would have to be a one and I can't put a one in there. So this all becomes forced. Um, this now has to be 1, 2 to be less than the 2, 3, which means this becomes 8, 9. Um, except if we look at this box, we can't put 9 anywhere in those because a 9 can't be partway along a thermo or at the start of a thermo. So 9 is in here, which means this becomes the 8, this becomes the 2, this becomes the 3. Uh, this now becomes a 4 and this becomes a 5 to, because all of this becomes forced. Because before um, I put that in, this could have been 3 or 4. This has to be less than 5 and higher than 3. So this is 4, this is 5, this becomes the 4, this becomes the 2. And all of this becomes forced by that um, and my music is too loud I am not listening to Hamilton oddly enough because it is too loud for oh, what is going on It's a bit quieter. So um, now, where do we want to look next? Well, there's a couple of different places to look. What I like to do is I like to fill in the cages. Like a 15 in two, it's only got two ways of being made up and the thermo force is the order. So it's either six, nine, or seven, eight. Um, similarly, this six cage is either one, five, or two, four. So a lot of these things become forced. Similarly with seven cages, there's three ways to make up a seven cage. It's either one, six, two, five, or three, four. So it's always one, two, three with four, five, six. Now this one can't be three, four, but, um, and this one can't be five, two. But the important thing about this is, um, and this is about to become forced, um, some of this stuff happened later in the solve. But the important thing about this is none of these cells can be one, two, three, because they're higher than the four. So the only place I could put the third one, two, three is slap bang in the middle, but it can't be a two. So this gives me a one, three pair, and this becomes the two, this becomes the five. Um, now, 
I can't put four in here. I can't put four here because this cell has to be higher than four. I can't put four there because four would have to go with three. And I can't put four there because it's higher than five. This becomes four, this becomes three. So this becomes one. And things are starting to be forced. Um, so these, uh, I have to put eight in one of those two because I can't put eight in the middle. So one of these is going to be eight, nine, and the other one is going to be six, seven. So it's going to be six, eight, seven, nine, whoops, nine, seven, nine with six, eight. And that all becomes forced, which means this is a known triple. One, two, three, four, five, six. So these are three, five, and six. So the maximum I can put here is six. I'm actually solving this a different way to the way I said it, because I remember using this 11 gauge a lot more, but I'm finding a different way and that's fine. So this can't be the three. Um, because it has to be higher than this. And this can't be the six because it has to be lower than this. So three, four, so this has to be higher than three. So this is four or five. Um, and it can't be a five. So this is the four. <laughs> wow. Did not know that existed in this puzzle. That's very, very weird. Because this is a four and this is now, I believe, very restricted because these have to sum to 11. They can't be two nine. They could be three, eight. They can't be four, seven. They could be five, six. And they're the only possibilities. And that's given me a three, five pair here. That's very weird. Sorry, this is a different way of solving this puzzle than one I've ever done before. And that's cool. Uh, I don't even, that's distracted me a lot. Cool. I, I like it that my puzzles have a different way through. It's just weird that I found one like that. Um, so, uh, I remember looking at this 11 cage because if we think about it now, this 11 cage, um, can't have a two in it because I can't put a two here. And this is what I remember the solve path being. <laughs> this, this stuff is new to me. I can't put a two in here because of the given two and I can't put a two here, but an 11 cage must have a one or a two, because if I don't put a one or a two in it, three, four, five sums to 12, which is higher than 11. And I can't put a two in this. So it has to have a one. And the only place I can put a one is there. So now this is either, again, I can't put a one in it, uh, two in it. So one, two, eight isn't possible. So if it's one, three, seven, it's one, three, seven. And if it's one, it can't be one, four, six, because there's no four available. Getting this four is incredibly powerful. This is one, three, seven. That's huge. Sorry, I like it when stuff like this happens. That's huge. There's no three here. This is a five, six pair. This is a three. Wow, that's so cool. Um, now this 13 can't be a six, seven anymore. So it's either four, nine or five, eight, but I can't put the, there must be an eight or a nine in here and I can't put the eight or the nine lower. So this is either a four or a five and this is an eight or a nine. And this is a one, two, three, four, and it can't be a three. So this is a one, two, or a four, but there's a four, five pair. So there's no four here. So there's a one, two pair. So these are from six, seven, eight, nine. That's kind of cool. This is very different. And wow, this 14 cage can't have a five in it now. So this must be six, eight which means this is the seven and this is the eight and this is the nine and this is the four, which makes this the five and this the one, which means this is a two. That's that I vaguely remember. The six, eight here takes six and eight out of here. This is seven, nine. I've got a seven, nine pair. I take the seven, nine out of there. This eight makes this six, which makes this eight. This eight, of course, makes this nine. This now becomes seven and six. Um... Sorry, six, eight pair. Not sure that that's doing much yet. I remember these cages came in way earlier. I love it that there's a different way through. This must be a seven, eight or nine because it has to be higher than six and it can't be seven or eight. So that's a nine. And that makes that a seven, which I could have got by that being a nine. This is a triple now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, there's no two here. So that's a three, four and that's a two. Uh, one, two, this is now has to be a three for the row. And these are one, two, three, four, one and five. Cool. Actually, these are no, this is a pair as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, five and nine. Okay. Uh, I've got 
but six, eight pairs. So what are these? One, two, three, four, five. So these are three, four, and five. This is so out of order. I love it. Um, two is in one of those two. Oh, this three has made this five. So four and five is nine. So this is a six, which makes this five and this six. This six has made this eight and this six. There's no five in either of those. This is six, so this is seven, eight, and eight, nine to increase along the thermo. Well, that's interesting. This row here needs one, two, and eight, nine, and I can't put one or two there because it's too far along the thermo. So this is a one, two, this becomes an eight, nine. This 13, I can't make it four, nine because there's a four in the box, so it's either, Five, eight, or six, seven. This nine can't be one, eight, or two, seven. So it's either three, six, or four, five, which has given me a three, four pair. And a five, six pair. So this becomes the nine, this becomes the five. So these are from one, two, three, four, five, six, one, seven, and eight. There's no seven there. There's no eight there. This now has to be the six. There's nowhere else I can put six in the box. So this is a six. This is a one eight. This is a seven. So this is an eight, which makes this a five, which makes this a six, which makes this a three, which makes this a four, which makes this a one, which makes this an eight. All just using basic Sudoku elimination. This is now a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and these are one, two, three, four, five, six, one and eight. Well, the one and the eight are resolved. That's the eight and that's the one because of that one. Uh, wow. Okay. Uh, where now? Uh, this three looks down, making this four and this three. This five looks down, making this one and this five. The one looks down, making this two, which jumps all the way across, making this one. Uh, this four looks down, making this three. Um... This was never designed to be particularly hard, just fun. Uh, this is the one in the box because this one sees those and that one sees what there and there's no one in any of those. I need to put a three in, can't put it there or there because of those three, so that's the three. So these are six and seven and this six gives me the order, seven and six. This is now a pair, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is seven and nine. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five. Whoa, I've messed up. There's two eights in this box. How have I got two eights in this box? And how long ago did I do that? And was it just a typo? I'm hoping that was just a typo. So let's do this again, because I completely messed up. So these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I can't put eight in the box. I could have done that was the way to do it. So it's up. I'm doing all of this while exhausted. So this is a one seven pair. This is an eight. And that hasn't resolved any of this, which is different. One, two, three, four, five, six and nine go in there, which I can still resolve nine and six. And the seven still resolves this. This is the one and this is the seven. The eight, however, does resolve this. This is five. This is six. This is three. This is four, which resolves this three. Uh, this five looks down, making this the one and this the five. The one looks down, making this the two and this the one. And I can probably do all of this again. I need to put a one in here. I can't put it there or there. So this becomes the one. I need to put a three in here. I can't put it there or there. This becomes the three. I need to put a six in here, which must go here. And now this must be the seven. This is a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine, which is not resolved. One, two three four five six five and eight go in there. And the order of that is known. Um, the eight looks down, making this seven, which looks up, making this nine and this seven. Uh, this three looks down, making this four and this three. This now must be a two to complete the column. These are one, two, three, four, eight, and nine. Uh, and I'm not sure. Okay, what are these? These are one, two, three, four, five, and nine. And I know the order. That's the nine. That's the one. So there's no nine there. Uh, these are one, two, and eight. Okay. 
great one two three four five seven and eight so this is the eight this is the seven this is the nine which makes this the eight which makes this the four which makes this the nine the eight looks back making this the two this the eight and this will allow this to complete i need a four and a six and that four or that six will do it that becomes the six that becomes the four and that is the end of yorktown which took me just over 10 minutes even with making a mistake not designed to be too hard a puzzle just designed for the killers and the thermos to bounce off each other and to be hopefully nowhere near as exciting <laughs> this is absolutely nowhere as exciting as seeing the, the number from the show but i just wanted to do something fun um hope you're enjoying the puzzle i uh, hope you're enjoying the the things that i put out um i just needed to do this a bit for me and if i'm going to do a puzzle for me i'm going to share it with people thanks everyone for watching um and as always good luck with your solving <laughs>